Hi there! I just wanted to come on really quickly and uh, show what I have currently inked at the moment. Um, I have them housed in my pen koozie case um, from Rickshaw. I have some of my rulers in here and then I have a three pen, another three pen, and that's it. So I'll start with this is um, a pen, another single pen koozie from Rickshaw and I got it to match my pelican. It, I love these cases because they're soft and like the fur on the inside is just so nice. Like it's just so nice. And then I just love the way this looks together. Uh, okay, so um, currently this is inked. I'll just put this here. Okay, so this is my Pelican M six hundred and white violet. Oops. And the ink that I have in it right now. Oh, I sorry, this is also an extra fine. Oh, that's horrible. Excuse my writing there. Which I think is a great match for this pen here. I hope that gives you an idea of the color. Um, So the ink that I have in it is Vinta inks, Vinta ink, oops, sorry, Vinta ink. And papaya. I don't know why it says papaya, that's purple. If that makes any sense. Not sure why they call it papaya because I don't think I've ever seen a papaya that's purple. But, anyways, I thought it was a great match. So then I have this one. And then next I have this three pen koozie. I'll show you it there that way because it doesn't fit on my screen. Um, and so, as you can see again, it has the fur, the fuzzy stuff on the inside. It's so soft. Um, I have my Bennu Euphoria um, Edelweiss. I love this pen. So beautiful. And I got um, my nib adjusted so it has a tomahawk from uh, Pen Realm, and I'll just put this here. So this is Benu Edelweiss. I hope I'm spelling that right. I'm sorry. Got it find what I inked it. All right, this is Edelweiss um, with a custom nib. Um, now this does have I had it adjusted, um, customized so that it'll have some flex. So this is just regular, and this is regular. So there we go. Not huge difference, but I like having the uh, the line variation. And the 
ink that I have in this one is KWZ Discovery Green. which I believe is exclusive to Drum Moogles. All right. Oh, let's just do a nice little square here. So that's my Edelweiss, my Bennu. Then I have my Opus 88, and this one is the um, exclusive for from Stilo Aid Steel. And I have it inked. Uh, this one is a stub nib, a 1.5. So this one is Opus. Eighty eight Stilo and Steel Exclusive and the ink that I have in this one is oops, just give me a second here. Sorry, I'm back. I had to double check and make sure that I had the right ink in here. So this is the Opus 88. This is an exclusive to Stilo and Steel. And the ink that I have in this one. Oh, and it's a 1.5 stub nib. As you can see, it's quite thick here. So the ink that I have in this one, nice and juicy, oh. and this one is Scribo. Blue Cosmico. I don't know if you can see, this has an awesome sheen on it right now. So it's like a dark blue, but then it has a bit of a sheen of maybe red-ish color. Okay, and then I'll put these ones back. The Bennu, my Opus 88, and then I have this one here, and this is my Leonardo. Leonardo Memento Zero. Grande with a custom nib. Uh, I believe this is an architect nib. And the ink that I have in this one, it's probably better to see it that way, hey? Anyways, I'll do it that way. And the ink I have in that one is um, Soda Pops 
soda pop blue. So Robert Foster. Soda pop blue. Okay. And so that and so my three pen case is um, a Van Gogh series that Rick Shaw had. Um, I believe this is the irises and they had the other, I had them in a couple of other uh, Van Gogh paintings, um, but I chose this one. Then I have my last three. And this is just a regular black koozie. Um, it has the purple in rickshaw and then the purple fuzzies in, in the inside. So we'll start off with my Twisby. Five AT R Prussian Blue and again I believe this is a one point five or a one point one or one point one. One point one. That doesn't look right. I think it's a five. I'll double check that one. Be right back. Hi, I'm back. Um, I made a major mistake here. Sorry, I just have to go back. Oh my goodness. So inside my Memento Zero, it is not Robert Oster Blue, not Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue. It is actually Ackerman. That's blue. Blau, sorry. Blau. I know I just annihilated that. That's awful. There you go. So that is that one. Sorry about that. My mistake. Okay, so we have this one. And the one that we have inside my Twisby, it is a 1.1 stub, sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm just making mistakes here and there. I just don't know what's wrong with me today. Sorry about that. I'm so scatterbrained. Uh, so this is my 1.1 stub. And inside this one, I have my Sailor Ink for New York. So Sailor, New York, great, and just so you know, I love Twisbees and Opus 88s because you can keep them inked for quite a while. This one I inked in April, and it is now July 26th, so just so you know. <laughs> That's why I love these. And then the next one that I have inked up is my uh, Pilot Oh, I'm running out of room. I, oops, am I even out of frame? Sorry about that. Pilot nine one two and this is with the fa nib as you can see it's not the regular nib here with the falcon nib and i just love the line variation like even when you're not 
even trying to make it so thick, you can still like have it normal. Um, and this ink here that we have with this one, is Kyonoto Sakurazami. I'm spelling this wrong. Sorry. I'm horrible at spelling. Okay. There we go. And that goes back in here. I'll grab another piece of paper. I don't think I can write on the back of this. Let's see. So just back. Yeah, I guess I could, but I'm not gonna let that dry on to the side while I have two more pens. And this is my Pelican M215 rings. And this one is with a, oops, I can't even see. I believe this is a fine nib. And so I have my Pelican M215 rings. And the ink I have in this one is Ferris Wheel Press. Beaver Dam. And I really like this ink because it's like brown, but kind of like a burgundy-ish color. Really like that. Okay, and I have one more pen. I just have to grab it just a second. All right, so I have this one. I has all of the three that we've done. And then I just have two more fountain pens um, that I have inked, which I have attached to my journals. Um, first up, I have my, oh, this is my Pilot Vanishing Point in a fine nib. And the ink I have in this one is sailor so we have oop. um you know i never thought that i would like these pens but it's really quite comfortable and very convenient not having to twist the top i guess i can't really <laughs> talk and write at the same time Excuse me. There you go. All right. And that's in the fine nib. And the ink. Let's just do this here. I don't know if this works out much better than my screws. <laughs> um, is Sailor. Mom G. Which is a cult pens exclusive. I think that's such a great match with this one. I don't know if you guys agree, but I really like it. There we go. And then my very last pen I have inked is my Monteverde Laguna. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's kind of shaped like bamboo and then it has a clear clear cover on it so but I really do and the bamboo clip which is super super tight 
so it was kind of hard to use this one. But anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? So this is my Monteverde. Oh, oh, I think it's drying out. Monteverde, there we go. My Laguna. Oh, yeah. Laguna. And this is in a medium nib. Oh my goodness. I think it's just drying out. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and this ink... Let's see if I can get it to, like, wet up a little bit. Um, so this ink is... Noodlers. X feather. And it this is like a super wet rider. So that's why I was kind of surprised. I believe it was just because it's a little dry on the nibs. So there we go. So there we have it. Um, these are my currently inked pens. I have my, there we go. And I guess these aren't fully in camera. Just get a second here. There we go. So I have my M600 again and this one in my rickshaw pen, pen case and then my three pen case, my Van Gogh three pen case and they have different sizes too. So um, this is a large and then this one is I believe a medium or small. I can't remember. I think this is a small. And then I just have these two attached to my journals. All right, so there we go. Here we are. Um, I just wanted to show quickly. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I pretty sure I spelled stuff wrong here and correct me if I'm wrong I apologize um, but I just wanted to show the different um, inks that I have and my currently inked pens um, maybe you like something here or maybe you have the same let me know thank you for stopping by